a good Saturday afternoon, everybody, and it's an afternoon because I didn't get started with my shit until late, so I'm running from fucking behind as always. How's everybody doing today? Wear a Coors Light t-shirt, drink Budweiser and belch like a fucking slob. Welcome to my YouTube channel, everybody. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, ring my bell, get my notifications, throw me a thumbs up, and leave a question or comment below so that way I know who you are. I don't know, whatever. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So I'm figuring out my logistics here for my fence line. I'm kind of going to set this corner. And it's hard to see in the phone. Maybe we can zoom in. Focus! Focus. Can you focus or what the fuck are you gonna do? How about now? No, I don't want to focus. What a piece of shit. Focus. 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 Okay, so that corner post right in there behind the shop you can see that diagonal brace right in the middle of the screen it's the post behind that is kind of what I want to line up with that di the one with the diagonal brace on it, that fuckers coming out so it's actually gonna get turned face this way so let's zoom back in <whistles> or out or whatever 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 okay. I'm come out there from out there out there out there out there what And it looks like topographically, big word, um, I'm going to go down this transition and up that hill. That'll keep me away from these steeper drops that's kind of with this fucking drainage here. So if I go through that shallower drop, fucking horse is acting like an idiot. And then we'll continue back to the fence line back there that... Where that turns to brush, that is pretty much my fence line. There's some brush on this side of it. We gotta get into clearing all that crap out and whatever, but we'll cut our way back in and we'll tie into the fence line there. So we're gonna kinda officially set the first stake. Now this is not the this will be a wooden post, a corner post at some point, but we're gonna kinda eyeball it here. There's going to be a gate somewhere here. I don't know where, but it'll be here. Probably here. There'll be a gate there because this is going to run that direction. Yeah, you'll get it. Fuck it, you'll get it in a minute. We'll figure it out. All right, we'll get back with you in a little while. All right, so in true Rick Bork format, I'm just fucking making shit up as I go here. Um whatever so i'm going to change my entire fencing approach here completely the more i was thinking about this as i'm pounding in fence posts uh it's going to be easier to bring them a water trailer than it is to uh fence this so they can come up for water at the hydrant every day i can pull them a freaking water trailer i can move the water trailer around when i go move the cattle it's not a huge deal <laughs> so we got the first eighth mile pounded in. I don't know how well you can see that. Let me spin you around so maybe you can't see that. There you go. Away. It's not uh, super even ground. It has waves in it. Now we're going to go down this hill. But what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this short section here. That fucking crap can go. We're going to keep this. We're going to maintain this line right here. Although we need to also, obviously we need to spruce it up. But we're going to take that corner out. We're going to put one post here and another post there to brace it. 
and then we can eliminate this short section of fence that we don't need. We're gonna continue this fence line that I'm running right now is gonna go up and we're gonna make a corner right in the middle of where this road kind of turns into a Y. We're gonna make a corner right in the middle of that motherfucker and we're gonna square everything off. So the cabin road per se is kind of gonna go away. Um, I had these grandiose intentions of building a fucking road out to the cabin, but that's not gonna happen in the next fucking 10 years with the rate of keep growing this goddamn herd and have all these fucking cattle and all these other projects to fix all the fucking time. Okay, that's my rant for the day. Um, so, yeah, we're just gonna kind of make everything, we're just gonna turn everything into square blocks instead of trying to make run runways for the cattle. And then, yeah, I can just haul them water. If I'm gonna be out here moving them from one quadrant to the other, I can bring them fucking water too. It's not that big a deal hooking behind that side by side. I'm gonna be driving it anyway. So, it's a little bit more work now, less work in the long run. I think it's less work right now. It's less work right now. So, plus we're going to have more posts that way too. And I, cause, damn it, I bought a lot of fence posts. We're using some of these short ones in some of the transitions to try to keep the fence a little bit more level. So on the high spots we use the shorter ones, on the low, low spots we use the longer ones. That makes any fucking sense? I don't know. It's what I got, so I'm gonna use what I got. Um, some of these older ones, I think we had like five strands of electric on a few of them. We're gonna go with four strands of barb and one or two strands of electric. One for now and add the second one later if we need to or have to or want to or whatever. So I'm gonna get back to work, guys. Uh -oh. Oh, good lord. Wear a Tours Light t shirt. Drink Budweiser and belch like a fucking slob. Welcome to my YouTube channel, everybody. Now this portion that's wrapped around the post and twisted back on itself, we don't care about that right now. We're going to clip these wires, pull them back so they're out of the way for the time being. And then when we pull this post out, I'll go ahead and, uh, and deal with all that because we are going to reuse these posts. These posts are only two years old, so they're plenty good. Good enough. Now we got to pick up from the other asshole that was out here fencing before. The other asshole is me, by the way. Right now I just pulled the rest of my new stock fence posts that I bought a couple of years ago when they were super cheap on sale um i got none left that's it that's all i got so we have a bunch of fence line that's got to be pulled out anyway i'm hoping this is going to make me most of the way to the south part because i can concentrate on this the north end of the property needs to be done as well but most of the posts are already out there there's no the right spot when Bob and Wendy were fencing it, the neighbor had a fence line, and they had a fence line, and you could basically walk in between them. Why? I have no freaking idea. Other than the neighbor had horses, and she wanted smooth wire, and Bob and Wendy wanted barbed wire and electric fence. And they always had a disagreement. Well, now she doesn't have her horses anymore. So she said I can just fence the line and call it good. Perfect. So all the fences posts are there. There's actually probably twice as many as I need, which would be great. But I got a lot of brush clearing to do in there too, so. Yeah, I'm gonna get back to pounding post, guys. Catch up with you in a little bit. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm walking around out here and I had to uh 
fucking pants keep falling down. I don't know if I'm losing weight as I'm fencing or what the fuck's going on. Dehydrated, haven't drank enough beer today or... You think that son of a bitch would hold a fucking belt up or a pant pair of pants up? I don't belt up. So I manufactured one. Here we go. Look at that son of a bitch right there. Look at that motherfucker. Huh? Well, zip ties has got to be proud of that son of a bitch. Hold your fucking britches up with that. Um, I don't have anything to do a burnout on a fucking trailer with, though. But it was a good bitch. Anyway. <laughs> I got uh, got my pants back up because, Jesus Christ, I'm walking around pulling fence posts around barbed wire and my pecker hanging out. Somebody's going to have a problem here pretty soon, and it ain't going to be the fence post. So, you kind of get the idea... Sorry, I laugh at myself a lot. Um, you kind of get the idea of what I'm doing here. Taking out every few, leaving it so the barbed wire is still relatively separated. Once we get that line done down there, we'll start pulling these pieces off and we'll use those to run a line because it's already pre-stretched and it's still good wire. I mean, look at this stuff. What's wrong with that? There ain't nothing wrong with that. Empty. So, I'm gonna skip that one. I'll take one, two, three, four. Yeah, I'll take probably four, and then we'll skip one, and then we'll take the rest of them. Et cetera, et cetera, repeat, repeat. You get the idea, I think. If you don't get the idea, get the fuck out of here. You're a little bit half-baked and probably fucking retarded anyway, so it doesn't matter. It's almost 6.30. Between trying to get a video published and having to go pull a bunch of damn posts to finish out this line which I was hoping I had enough but I didn't want to stretch the gap on them either because then you're turning into a shitty fence but um, I did get the rest of the steel posts ran you see where I finished out right there um, we got it with the chainsaw cut that brush out so that way we can get back into the actual fence line it's just in there a little ways you can probably see that wood post right there so we're now don't have that far to go um, by the time we put in the, the corner post and the brace post, we don't need any more steel posts. Anyway, but I was hoping to get the line that runs from the east to west in tonight. That's not going to happen. There isn't a chance in hell. I have to pull every one of the posts that's going to go into that line, so that's going to be hellish. Plus, they all have barbed wire on them, and oh, God. So, oh, let's take a ride and I'll show you what I got going on because at least we're getting somewhere, I guess. So, if you see, I'll look out through my, don't look out through the fucking dirty windshield. God. Um, this ridge along here is where Bob, after Bob logged this many years ago, they had Dozer come in and push this up. And you can see some of the big rocks that were on the surface. So, who the hell knows what I'm getting into when I start trying to do some tillage out here. But I'd really like to work this ground so it's a little bit more even, get some of the rocks off of it. Maybe I'll overseed it, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But I do need to make it so it creates a better pasture. And some of this ground just needs to be cleared out anyway. A lot of this brush and all that garbage. I gotta get rid of that stuff. So, well, that's saying a bad perspective. We fenced from just behind the pole barn up there, pounded in posts. We didn't fence it all yet. All the way to down there. Just short of a quarter mile. About every 12. A post every 12 to 15 feet, somewhere in that area. Ah! Oh. Oh my god, I got a long ways to go. <laughs> I'm kind of an idiot. I swear to god, I'm an idiot. So I'll buzz up here and I'll show you the freaking fence line that I gotta take out. What in the hell is that? Bob always says you never know what the hell you're going to find out here, so I guess this is true. What in the fuck is this? 
Why is it that far in the ground? <sighs> Maybe I don't want to know, but well, fuck, we'll dig it up anyway. I don't have a very good digging utensil, but we got a fence post. Let's see if we can pry on a little bit. So clearly, it's not just a fucking what in the hell? I didn't straighten out the fucking fence post, any. Not that is. <sighs> Maybe I don't know. I don't know what it is. I have to get a better digging utensil or some damn thing. I don't know. Maybe we won't get back to it tonight. Fucking knows, I got better things to do. Bob said there was a bunch of shit out here when they, in the woods, strewn about. I know there's fucking angle iron sticking up here and there, and... Obviously, that's clearly a spot where the cows were pawing down for mineral and all that stuff, so... I'm not sure why the fuck there's a piece of galvanized pipe sticking out. Mysteries in life, and now it goes somewhere. I thought maybe it was just a piece of pipe laying in the fucking, in the dirt. Pick it up, and away you go, but maybe I don't want to know. Maybe I do want to know. I don't, oh, fuck, I don't I'm going to leave it alone for now. Let's put it that way. I'm just going to leave it alone for now. Well, guys, I got a lot of miscellaneous stuff to do tonight before it gets dark out, so certainly hope you like what we're doing. If you do, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Ring my bell. Get my notifications. Leave a question or comment down below. I will try really hard to get back to you, though. I'm pretty goddamn busy right now, but whatever. And share this out. Stop by on a Wednesday night. 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Central Time. Say hello. Drink a beer. Hang out. Have a good time. Say hi. All that stuff. We'll see you guys again next time.